Okay, so because so many of you had some issues drawing stairs in one point perspective, I'm going to do the short tutorial um, and show you how to construct that uh, framework or that separate grid for the stairs that helps you measure them out so you can draw them accurately. I drew this in the last tutorial, the first tutorial I did on one point perspectives, uh, but I did not show you how I constructed it. Um, I was hoping maybe you would be able to figure that out for, for yourselves, but, and some of you did, uh, but for, for those of you who didn't, uh, I'll show you that now. So, if we look back, and you kind of see that measuring grid. Obviously, I've got my ground line that is six meters wide. That's the width of the space that we're in. It's two meters down from the horizon line, which is also the line for the second floor, if you remember. And that goes up six meters to the underside of the ceiling that's above us in that first floor space. The stairs are going to be in this kind of corner here up against that right wall and obviously on the floor and there are 10 steps that then go up to that second floor. You can kind of see them here now, buried in that uh, corner against the right wall of the floor and up against that wall for the second floor there. There are 10 steps, but be aware that the 10th step is actually the line for the second floor. There's not a 10th step and then an 11th to get up to that second floor. That second floor does not also then step out to become a step. It's just a flat wall and it serves as that final step, okay? You can count them here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the 10th step is that top step, okay? So now I'm just gonna show you how I Constructed that, do the overlay. Show you the things that <clears throat> we cared about. All right, obviously, if I come back and reconstruct some parts of my measuring grid, right, there is this sort of meter wide corner there. There is the floor line for the second floor, okay? Floor line for the first floor, the corner there. All right, and we have our vertical lines, which I'll draw the, just the three of them that make up the three meter zone that we're in. All right, because there are 10 steps. There's a run of 0 0.3, 0 0.3 times 10, 3 meters. So we know that that step's going to come out 3 meters. We're also going to want to draw in those horizontal lines that intersect there. I'm doing this quick, so I'm not being precise, but obviously you should be as precise as possible here. I'm also smearing a little bit. Sorry about that. Um, but it will be much clearer if I use the straight edge today. All right, next thing I'm going to do is along that wall is I'm going to draw those horizontal grid lines for meters, okay, which obviously diminish back in that bottom corner down there, okay. If you notice, the bottom right-hand corner of the stair is on that line, okay. The, bottom, the, the back right corner of that stair is up against that line, right? And so they share that plane in there. And when I clean this up, you're going to see that this line was just an extension of my measuring grid before and does not exist. This plane for this wall actually wraps around that ninth step at the top of the, the stair, okay? I'm going to show you that in the cleaned up version. And then I'm also going to draw this vanishing line there. And it kind of gives me starting to give me, if you can see, a kind of clear box. Now, I just have the, the kind of bottom plane and the right side plane and that back plane drawn. I don't, I don't have my whole framework. And if you remember in my first tutorial, I said I thought I could get away with it by not drawing it, but I needed to draw the framework here as well at the end of the day, okay? So then the next thing I'm going to do, since I have those established, is I'm going to come in with my 1 to 50 scale. It doesn't really matter where you are. I've got two meters here, you can see. And I'm going to establish on this vertical the point two uh, distance for each of my steps. Okay, and I'm just going to do it along this line. I'm going to make little dots for it. So I'm going to come up point two. I'm going to come up point two. Point two. Point two. Point two. Point 
to, and so on, until I get to 10. And you can see I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of those, all at point 2. Okay? It's going to be important in a second. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And obviously, like I said, I'm not being incredibly precise. My ink pen doesn't help me out. You should be as precise as possible. For the purposes of this tutorial, this is fine. Now you can see they're even. I got uh, 10.2s and 10.2s all lined up right there. The next thing I can do is my point threes. Now I can come and measure this, and you should, but all I did was sort of eyeball it, and I tried to think about um, how things diminish back towards that horizon. And so my point threes, I kind of just drew in here at thirds, where I thought they would be, okay? Those become my point threes, okay? So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my point threes out across, making sure that I'm using my parallel bar or my T-square. I want these to be parallel, obviously. I'm not going to be totally precise, but you should be. Okay, starting to set up a grid. I can do the same thing with the verticals here. Okay, and again, you want to be vertical, you want to be straight up and down, so you want to use your T square or your parallel bar. Again, I'm not doing that, I probably should be but I'm working a little bit faster. And you can see now how I am constructing that grid. And you can see I've got point threes across all there. Right? Those are all my steps. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the tenth one's at the top. Okay? And now I've got these lines that I'm gonna draw back to the vanishing point. This is where a lot of you got off. You started to draw those steps all angling up somehow, as if they were all angling up to the top. But stairs don't angle up as they move up. They're, they're flat. You, you know, stairs in the world that you've all, all been on are all flat. And the way we make things flat in perspective is we draw horizontal planes back to the vanishing line. Okay? It's all based on our eye, eye line or line of sight. So I'm going to find that vanishing point, which is there. Okay? And then I'm going to draw lines back to that vanishing point through each one of these point two dots. You can see how I'm doing that. I'm going to do the same thing over here, maybe not in this video, but I'm going to do it eventually. You will do it. It's just a series of steps, and it's no different than any of the steps that you've learned how to do over the course of semester, and it's just really basic, simple math, which you all know how to do. So now you can see I've got that framework drawn, and the steps are literally drawn. It's just like we drew the section, and we drew that grid for the section. Uh, the, the stairs are in there. Now all we've got to do is go in um, and highlight them, okay? I can do the same thing on the other side, right? I'm not going to do it. You're going to do it. But I am going to show you where those steps are. Right? Obviously, that's number one, number two, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the tenth one is up there, okay, and it's up against the wall. It's right there, okay? Now, there are horizontal lines, and they're parallel, just like they are on the floor, like they are on the ceiling. All those lines are parallel, and they'll be drawn over, right? So once I get these in, that line will come over there, and this line will come over there, and I'm going to see a little bit of the top of that step, okay? Because it's not quite up to my line of sight. Well, that's the second line, okay? And then the corner of that stair will be here, Now 
that's what we'll see. And obviously this one will step down, step down. You see how that starts to work. And that wall back there just wraps around. There's no line right there, okay? No line. So you construct this grid on this right wall, you come back out into space, and you also construct it here. It gets a little bit confusing, which is why you don't necessarily want to do it. I'll draw, draw a few of them, and you can start to see. Okay, and then I'm just going to do the same thing here with my verticals. Okay, and then I get that same stair there, and I just connect them horizontally. Okay. And when I'm done, I just clean it up, right? Now, if you look at Nasser's drawing, which I ask you to do, you will also notice um, he did something as a check, and it was uh, intelligent, and I was pretty proud that he, I don't know if you read that in the book, which you should all be reading, because all these things are in the book. But there is a check you can do to make sure all these points should line up. Some of you are humping up or bulging up in the middle of that stair. Okay, they shouldn't, all these points should actually line up and intersect and at some point, there's a point at which they meet, at the top obviously. Okay, and you can see that diagram also drawn in the Ching book. Uh, he does it in that one point perspective drawing with the stair and he puts a little man there looking at that dot so you can kind of see um, that angle, okay?